What up, YouTube, man? JD Gang, JD4E right here again with another vlog, man. So today... We are back in the box truck to answer all y'all questions that y'all right. left in the comments. And to thank y'all for getting us to 500 subscribers. Big 500. In two months. So yeah, yeah, really in two months, man. Thank y'all for we really subscribing. See the, right, 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 right. And we really see the growth, man, with the box trucks, you know what I'm saying? So I know it's a lot of hungry people because we was doing the same, man. So uh, let's get to it, man. Let's jump straight into it, man. So one of the questions somebody asked on the uh, YouTube comments was, how are we booking loads? When we first got the truck, how we started off, we are, well, we already applied for Amazon and everything. We was already approved or whatever. Uh, but when we first got the truck, our first load we booked was on the DAT load board. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't know what the DAT load board is, I suggest you go download it, bro. Mm -hmm. Like for real, cause you can, it's easy on there, bro. All you do is set up the requirements, set up where you want to go. If you want to stay local, you can set that up. And uh, it's easy, man. So that's how we booking our loads. That's how we first started booking our loads. Our first load paid uh, $500, you know what I'm saying? That was strictly off the DAT load board. Yeah, and it was only like two hours away. So. Yeah, it was really, a, it was simple. You know what I'm saying? So that's how we book our loads, man. Our second load was off the DAT load board as well. So what we did was we, we used a feature like Amazon got where you could post your truck. The DAT load board got a feature too as well where you could post a truck. But it's not like Amazon, but it's kind of different. But they'll just call you and you know, hey, if you could take this load. And then our second, that was one of our loads we got on the DAT board that's paid us uh, $700. You know what I'm saying? So think about 500 there and then two days later you got 700. And then the day before we had a uh we had two uh we had picked up two loads uh yeah. one day that was going to the well they yeah, was we really both houston the same place yeah, yeah. yeah and it was like 250. yeah they paid us like 250 dollars for that so you know what i'm saying first we started off with 500 dollars 250 and then the next day was 700 dollars and then i think that same night we had an amazon load that was oh, our yeah. first amazon load yeah, our first, our first posted truck on amazon right and that paid us 496 or oh, 45 45, 45. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we use the DAT load board. We use Truck Stop. What's the other one you be looking at? Uh, Truck Smart. Truck Smart. And then we use Amazon Relay. So if you don't know how to book Amazon Relay loads, I guess we can show y'all on the laptop when we get to it. But right now, it's, it's pretty easy, bro. Amazon Relay is probably like the easiest load board that you can book a load on. <laughs> like you clearly just click book. <laughs> so that's about the easiest thing you could do, man, is book a load with Amazon Relay. So. Uh, what else? The next question was, uh, how much are we booking our rental for? So right. our rental is four fifty flat right. mm -hmm. a week. Right. Well, 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 the base rate. The base rate. Now the base rate actually it was four fifty. You remember the first oh, yeah, one? Oh yeah, for the for the personal. For the personal, because we started out with a personal, which we probably should have stayed, but mm -hmm. we made the commercial account and then it went up to five hundred a week. So that's the base rate. Yeah, the reason why we went to the commercial though is because of the insurance. So without right. the commercial, we couldn't put our progressive insurance on there. So we was paying two insurance for no reason. Right, for so. no reason. So that's some free game right there, bro. When y'all go get y'all rental truck, it's free game we're giving y'all, bro. Like you got your own insurance already set up. There's no reason you have to use the rental company's insurance. So drop that ASAP. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That is definitely going to help you uh, weekly, you know what I'm saying, with your rental, bro. So definitely want to drop that. Uh, so, yeah, we pay, what, 500 a week. That's the base rate. And then uh, we took the insurance off because that, they actually was charging us $190, oh, yeah. I think, all together yeah. with the damage waiver and the insurance. So drop all that, bro. So that was like an extra almost $200 for insurance that we was already paying. Right. So it was like no reason for us to be paying too much. No reason at all, bro. So that's that. And then uh, what else they asked? Um, how long we've been doing this? So literally, we picked up our truck on... Tuesday, Tuesday, last Tuesday. Wednesday we was on a load. Yeah, that was we, a five hundred dollar load. Yeah, because we renting the truck. So ne that next Tuesday they was yeah. gonna be on their money. So literally, if right. you rent the truck, you have to get up, get out there, and yeah. get your money because right. that Tuesday they gonna coming. want their money. And the word of it, oh yeah, and the word of advice too, man. So what budget does, man? They do the deposits too every week. So they, I think our deposit was like thirteen hundred. Yeah. So just be mindful of that, man. The deposit is thirteen hundred. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you get your deposit back, but yeah. So the just, first, when you first rent it, it's the thirteen hundred, mm -hmm. and then when the next week comes, it's just the, the rental charges, yeah, estimated the rental, rental charges. charges. So and yeah. Then, so you only got to pay it one time, bro. Once you get that thirteen hundred, bro, it's just gonna be the same thirteen hundred. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna, you know, whatever. They just put a hole in your account. So just be mindful of that, though, when you go in now. So that's uh. That's oh they had what was budget requirements, requirements for the, the rental. Yeah, they didn't really have no requirements. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't even no requirements. Well, of course, 
yeah, because like I said, we was paying for their insurance, so. Yeah, and to get a, I guess y'all asking like, what's the requirements to get approved for the commercial account or just to get a truck? But if you're just trying to get a truck on personal, uh, uh, without an authority or anything like that, you can easily go get you a box truck. You can only do, if you want the Amazon discount, because budget has a Amazon discount, Rider has an Amazon discount. So if you're trying to get that discount where you can get your rate, your base rate, like 450 to $500 a week, you have to tell them, hey, I got accepted with Amazon. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm running my truck with Amazon Relay and they're going to give you that, they're going to set up a commercial account and then they're going to give you that uh, discount for your uh, rental every right, week. So, so that's why our base rate is so low because mm -hmm. we have the Amazon uh, <coughs> discount on it. Right. Right. Uh -huh. So yeah, but other than that, man, uh, budget, oh, the only thing budget did tell us, they's like, we cannot set up your commercial account until you find a truck. Right. So that was kind of <laughs> retarded, but you know, so basically what, what you do is if they tell you that, or if you don't have a truck already or whatever, uh, they're going to give you the number to the national uh, hotline or whatever, and they'll find you a truck. They'll find a truck for you, man. They'll find a truck for you. And then once you find that truck, it's like, they don't even like do no research. They just like, okay, you found a truck. Cool. Now you're going to set your account up, you know, so. It's, it's pretty easy, bro. Yeah, I think the hardest part about the rental is finding the truck. Like, yeah. that that was the hardest part. Because even the day when they told us they, they had a truck for us, we went oh, out man. there to go get the truck, and there was no, no truck, truck there. No so truck. So we was like, what are we supposed to do? What do you mean there's no truck? And they was like, right. they haven't seen no box trucks in two months. So then the man was actually cool. He actually got on the phone. And, and found uh, us a truck. Yeah, he man. got on there and found us a truck. <laughs> And the lady, when we got there, she was like, she had never uh, had a 26, had a 26 box foot box up there. That's how I know like stuff happened for a reason, bro. Like, she literally never, I'm talking about, she said she never saw a 26 box truck ever uh, at her little facility or whatever. So that's crazy, man. So just be mindful of that too, man. If you're going through budget or any rental company and they say, and they say, uh, and they say the truck is available or whatever, make sure you call but ahead of time because we drove two hours to go get this truck bro and that truck was not there but luckily yeah, the dude but was so the man, helpful man. yeah even the man he was like uh <laughs> if you cancel your reservation budget gonna call, to charge you uh fifty dollars or whatever but when you when it happens to the other way around and they just they don't, don't do care. That. yeah they they don't like, care. oh well we don't have the truck for you and right. that's literally what happened it was like well we'll try to find you another truck exactly but and i ain't even hear from him Luckily, the guy at the place, he was so helpful, man. You know, he was a brother like me, but he, he was so helpful, man, to, uh, you know, locate us another truck. So he's like, man, look, I just found y'all one this one over here. So that's what a lot of people saying, too. It's not a lot of rental trucks out here. It's some trucks out here, bro. I promise you, it's, it's some 26-foot box trucks out here. They may not have a lift gate, though, but it's a 26-foot box truck. You don't need a lift gate, bro. Like, trust me, you don't need it. It's really ways around it, bro. You can run a pallet off a damn loading ramp. Right. You know what I'm saying to your stop, so you really don't need a, a lift gate on them. But so yeah, man. So we're gonna wrap it up, man. So if y'all got any more questions, because we only answered like three questions or four questions from uh some other people that commented. So man, y'all drop those questions in here, man. So we can uh you know we can keep y'all entertained and we can keep y'all informed on everything that's going on. So and as y'all know right now, man, I don't know what's going on with Amazon, but the rates are a little low. Right. They are a little low right now. <laughs> right. So, so we've been bouncing back and forth from the DAT right. and Amazon. Right, right, right. Amazon but, is tripping right now. Yeah, but we did find a little hack though. We did find a little hack. We see we see now when the lows actually go up. You know what I'm saying? So just be mindful of that. You ain't gotta book out your whole week with low lows. Kind of just wait sometimes and you know what I'm saying? You'll see that low go up. You see it go up. Yeah, we might be doing another video showing y'all how we um book our loads on Amazon right. Relay on the laptop. Yes, sir. So, all right, man, we out, man. JD Gang, JD4E, we out. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell, make sure y'all can know when we post. We out, man. Bye.